Hello, I'm Louise Miller, beekeeper and honey maven. If you're alarmed by the news of bees dying in unprecedented numbers, you're not alone. Fortunately, there are some surprisingly simple ways that we can help bees and other pollinators survive and thrive. I'm going to share three strategies to invite bees into your outdoor living space. An instant container garden, an annual flower bed, and a perennial front yard makeover. The simplest way to find flowers for a container garden is to ask the bees. Take a stroll through a locally owned nursery. Go on a sunny day when bees are looking for nectar. Just like us, bees have their favorites, so look for plants that are abuzz with bees. Buy three, bring them home, and group them together in your place in the sun. Bees have an easier time spotting blossoms that are in bunches three feet in diameter, so one type is more effective than a mix of flowers. If you're wondering if three bee-friendly flowers planted in one pot will make a difference, imagine like-minded folks in neighborhoods across your community doing the same. This small investment enables you to enjoy good bee karma every time one of these amazing creatures lands on one of your flowers. If you have an annual flower bed, consider planting wildflowers. Here I planted a pollinator mix from the Xerxes Society. The Xerxes Society does for insects what the Audubon Society does for birds. They carefully select flowers for a succession of bloom. Visit their website to find a seed mix suited to your region. These California natives are attracting more than honeybees. Bumblebees and other native bees have been feeding here since the first blooms of early spring. If you're ready to take on a bigger project and create a pollinator-friendly landscape, start with a visit to a native plant nursery. I planted these perennials last year and am prepared to wait up to three years for the plants to grow into the space. I started the project by removing the lawn and covering the soil with weed blocking fabric. I installed a drip irrigation system, a path, and bark. I chose California native plants that bees love and made sure to include spring, summer, and fall bloomers. To make your landscape a true pollinator paradise, add a few more amenities a bare patch of earth for ground nesting bees, a bee house for hollow stem nesting bees, and a small amount of water. With the hard work and expense behind me, this pollinator friendly landscape will bring good bee karma for years to come. This yard faces a busy street. I'm eager to share the message that each of us can do our part to support bees. So I display this sign from the Xerxes Society. Whether you start with a container garden, sow an annual flower bed, or install a pollinator-friendly landscape, you'll be helping bees survive and thrive. This is the Honey Maven inviting you to welcome bees into your outdoor space. Say yes to bees. Say yes to life.